Okay, I'm going to be setting a diamond here, a one carat diamond. And the first step, making sure I don't cover up the laser engravings on the stone. And this particular diamond has two laser engravings. It has the GIA certificate number on it. And what I'm doing is putting some black magic marker where that engraving is. And there's another engraving, which is the Canadian serial number, because this is a Canadian diamond. So this way, when I'm setting the stone, I can see with the magic marker exactly where the laser uh, engravings are so I don't put a claw over it and cover it. Uh, the next thing is I use a setting burr. This is a setting burr here. And it has the same angles on it as a round diamond. So when I cut into the claws, it's going to give me what we call a seat that the diamond falls into and fits just perfectly uh, against the claws. Yeah, I'm just going to have a quick look at this from all angles to make sure that it's nice and even. So what I'm going to do is align the black marks and I'm just looking at it by eye to see the level of the stone and I'm pretty happy with that and the height looks pretty good as well. Okay, so what I do next is I'm going to just grab my these are called setting pliers. Now what I'm doing is just taking the four claws. I'm not bending them all the way down. Because what I want to do is just make sure I put them down evenly. So that the stone goes in uh, nice and flat, not at an angle. So if I was to bend one of the claws down by itself all the way down to the store a stone the stone could become a could get set at a bit of an angle so I'm just going to have a quick look at this from all sides and yeah, it's looking pretty good Now there's lots of extra metal on the claws and what I'll do is trim that back after I've finished setting them all down against the stone. 